Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this 4K dash cam. It is a 3840 by 2160 UHD. It has voice control. It has a 150 degree wide angle with a free app. So today we were received our dash cam. This is a 4K front dash cam. It is great for cars, bus, trucks. It has a built-in Wi-Fi G sensor app control, voice control, built-in GPS. The video capture resolution is 2160p. So right here you can see it says 2160p UHD. The feature is a built-in Wi-Fi for easy wireless data transfer. The GPS is enabled to track driver's route and convenient voice control for hands-free operation. It is a WDR technology which ensures balanced exposures and very lighting conditions. It has a 150 degree wide angle lens, captures bold field and view recording. It records blind spots, 24 hour parking mode. It monitors your vehicle around the clock, provides security and evidence you need. It's compact yet powerful. The dash cam is driver's ultimate driving protection. It has a 0.96 inch screen, which could display recording and GPS microphone, Wi-Fi, and SD status. It has a built-in GPS, which it routes your destination, the latitude and longitude of the recording video. It has a 24 hour parking mode. The records provides two parking modes, one collision detection parking mode and two time-lapse parking mode, which requires a three lead hard wiring kit, which is not included. So you do get the instructions manual when you want to download the app you just take your smartphone take a picture of this QR code you can scan it so it is tells you how to run it how to set the time how to take pictures how to get the function of the camera so it, you could turn it on the a14 dash cam you search for the Wi-Fi name a14 and the list the default password on this one is one two three four five six seven eight it says the effective distance of Wi-Fi functions on mobile connected is about 10 feet. So you do get these little plastic things that you can put up on your dash. These ensure that there's no sticky tape left on your windshield. So right here is a little dash cam. It is very small and lightweight. It says remove this before recording because this is the camera. You can see it's really nice and lightweight. The camera lens is movable. There is the Wi-Fi button. So you want to connect to Wi-Fi. You just push and hold that down. You've got the little sticky tape right here that you stick up to your dash or to your windshield however you want you can see that this it rotates back and forth and then you've got the speaker right here at the top and then you got some ventilation up at the top as well this is a digital dash cam so everything is digital right here on the side you got your USB port you got your TF card port so you use a type C to connect to your car or you can plug it into a power bank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this and then I'm going to turn it on. But you can see how nice and lightweight this is. I like the fact that it does have holes on the top and bottom. So it gets a lot of ventilation that way it does not get very hot especially if you live in an area that gets really hot and you want some ventilation for your dash cam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my dash cam. I'm going to grab my type C because I do have a type C and a charger block right here because I'm not in the car. So it's setting up right here. You can see it is digital. Oops, I have it upside down. It does have a Wi-Fi little block up here. It also has got your TF card slot display and it's also got your GPS. It has also got the temperature, I believe. So, and it's got the time right here, the running time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my phone and I did already download the app. So right now it's asking for my location. So what I wanna do is it says, yes, I wanna use my location. Also wanna connect to my local network. So I'm gonna do that. And then you're just gonna follow the on screen instructions. So right now it says check your dash cam. We're gonna check the Wi-Fi. So right now it says to install it, you gotta make sure you install it, but I've already have it on. You click on the Wi-Fi. And then on your phone device, you will click the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi actually is A14, whatever the last. So this is the A14 4K dash cam and it does give you a default password of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you will enter those ones and then it's going to ask you to remove the mobile data. So it's shown right here. There's the 
password. Now it says remove the mobile data, you need to turn it off. So once you turn that off, you'll go ahead and click on next and it will take you into the camera setup. So right now I'm just gonna click the real time video and then once you click that, it should give you a live video feed. So now I'm waiting for it to, to display. So now I'm moving it, you can see that it is all connected. It is super easy to connect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna show you around a little bit and then I'm going to take this out in the car and I'm gonna do some driving during the day as well as night so you can see the clarity of day and night driving. So this is what it looks like daytime here in my house. So you can also take a picture, you can save it. You go to settings, you can change the resolution to 3840 by 2160. So I'm just gonna change it to the higher resolution. So this dash cam, the app is only available for Android 5 and up and iOS 9.0 and higher. So right now I'm still getting a little bit of video. So you can touch this, make sure that it says the A14 and each one of them has different. So once you click on that, it should say no internet connection. That is just to get the connection. You've got the album switch mode, display mode, HD, audio recording and recording. So right now I do not have a TF card in, but I need to put one in. So when you first turn this on, it's gonna pretty much tell you you need a TF card to install. Once it installs, it will format it. But as you can see, it's really nice, clear quality. So right now I'm just gonna go take this out in the car and go do a little driving in the day and in the night to show you the difference between the day and the night and how clear this is. Thank you. 